Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Control for your feature focus video. In this video we're going to talk about recording a cue list. A cue list is a way of programming a much more structured show so that you can achieve the same results every night. There are two types of cue lists, the manually recorded cue list, where the user sets up each state and then saves it, and the quick build, where the user automatically stacks pre-existing cues or pods to create a cue list. To start building a cue list, press record and make sure that the record cue list is selected or press the record button three times. Then choose an empty blue swap to start recording a cue list. This first press does not record a cue, simply assigns a handle. Create a look at the programmer, and once you are happy, select append cue, which will update the cue and go on to the next to be ready for you to do. Once you have finished, press clear and exit. There are a number of options on the soft keys to choose from when in record mode, record mode itself. This can be changed between keys if you wish. Channel fix your stage, behave the same as they would when recording other items. Quick build allows you to record a cue list from pre-existing queues. Queue number. This can be changed to a point queue, i.e. 2.5 when you need to insert a queue, or change to an existing queue number if you wish to update one. In these cases, the append option will change to show insert or update to one of the action you're about to do. Legend, you can set a legend to describe the queue, so something more descriptive rather than queue 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, red, green, blue, whatever, something uh, more descriptive. Append queue, pressing this button will Record the current state as the queue number shown on soft key B. Shifted effects, you can put shapes and pixel maps into your queue lists. Under the advanced options, we'd have renumber queues. This puts all point queues to whole numbers. Uh, do this before giving your list to your stage managers. Set queue number, use this to renumber single queues. Auto load live playbacks. If this is turned on, then any playbacks which are active during the record process will get an auto load link recorded into the queue. This is not the same as record by stage, as it does not record hard DMX values into the queue, only links to the playback in the queue step. Set times. Here you can specify global times for the queue, including fade delay and fixture overlap. Once you have edited these, the times will apply to all consecutive queues and you change these values again. Tracking. Here we can set the tracking for the queue being recorded. This will apply to all consecutive queues until you change the option again. Global will follow global settings set in the playbacks option menu. Tracking, either on or off. Block. The queue will not take tracking states from previous queues. All subsequent queues will track from the blocked one. Solo excluding shapes. No states are tracked into or out of the queue, but shapes will track into the queue except for dimmer shapes, which will not track. This lets you have a queue that slows all levels, but allows non-dimmer shapes to continue. Queue only. Changes in this queue will not track to the subsequent queues. Unchanged states from the previous queues will be restored in subsequent queues. Solo, no states are tracked into or out of the queue. States from previous queues will track to subsequent queues, but will not appear in the solo queue. Block shapes, any track shapes will stop in this queue. Other attributes will continue to be tracked. This lets you create a point where you can guarantee all shapes will stop. For more on tracking, please see our video on Keyless Tracking. Set Mask allows you to filter which attributes you wish to keep in the recording. It can be set to remember the mask or auto reset to include all. So let's take a look at that. Here I've got version 15 of Titan on the Titan Go interface. So to start recording our cue list, we'll go ahead and hit record three times. As you can see, this automatically changes it to create cue list. So let's choose an empty fader. And here we can go through our soft keys, just like we did. I see we can change our record mode to channel fixture stage, as well as quick build. We'll change it to quick build for now. Uh, here we can set which cue we're about to record, in this case, Q1. Our cue legend, we can change it to something more descriptive if we wished. Uh, we can append queue, would record whatever we had in the program to the queue currently. Shapes and effects, here's where we can go and add shapes or effects to our queue. Our advanced options, here we can renumber queues, set a queue number, and auto load live playbacks on or off. And here we can see our set times, our tracking state, and our mask. Since we're in quick build, we'll go ahead and do that first. So to add cues to our quick build record mode, we can simply click the blue key on each one. As we see, as we add it to it, it's being added to our cue list. Once we're done, we can hit exit and clear. Now if we bring up our cue list view for this cue, we can see that it put in all of our cues as we put them in. And if we run it up and hit go, we can see it plays each of our looks. For manual recording a cue list, we can go ahead and hit record three times again and select an empty fader. 
and we'll leave our record mode in fixture. We go ahead and select some more fixtures and give them a locate, a color, and a position. And we'll select these ones, locate them, give them a color, and a position, and a gobo. And we'll say that we're happy with that. So then we just go ahead and hit append to queue. And we see that it recorded our first queue. And we'll go ahead and make a change. We'll change these to green. And we'll add in our BMFLs and locate them, give them a color and a position and a gobo. And then we can just tap our blue key again or hit append to queue. It is the same. And see, so we recorded our second one. So say that we actually needed to put a queue in between there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and change our BMFLs to red. Say so we wanted that to be Q2.5, so we can simply change here, change our Q number to 2.5. And now, if we add it in, and we go ahead and hit Append Q, we see that now we have a Q2.5 in our list. And we'll change our BM files to yellow. And then append Q to add Q3. Let's say that we realized in Q2.5 we needed our spiders to change to blue. We can go and select those, make them blue, take our BMFLs back to red. And then we can go ahead and hit change our Q number back to 2.5. And then we can update Q2.5. So it has done that. We want to merge it. And we'll go and change it back to Q4. And we'll go ahead and select all of our movers and we'll make them yellow. And we'll say we'll go and legend this one and we'll legend it chorus. And now we can go ahead and append Q and have our Q4. And let's go ahead and add a shape and effect. We'll do shapes and effects, shape generator, create. We'll actually just select our BMFLs and we'll go to pan and tilt and circles. We'll put a circle effect on them and we'll change their position to here and put a little spread on there. And then we can go ahead and append Q here to add that to our next Q. And for our next, we'll go ahead and turn on our auto load live playbacks on. So now we'll go ahead and bring up this Q and we'll take all of our movers and we'll put them in green. And this look And we'll go ahead and append that queue. And then we hit exit and clear. And we'll bring down this playback. So now if we bring this queue this view, we can see we have queues 1, 2, 2.5, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If we fire our first queue, we'll see what we recorded. Our queue 2, our queue 2.5 our Q3, our Q4, which we named Chorus, our Q5, which added our movement, and we'll see if we go to Q6, we see this playback fires, because it had auto load live playbacks turned on. And if we hit go again, we go back to our first Q. So that has been recording a Q list in version 15 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe and join us next time. Thanks, bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.